Hello from Covenant Life Fellowship, where Ken Porter is the pastor. My name is Bev Porter, and welcome to Bev's Lifeline. Hey, listen, family, we are living in perilous times. We know that, and the Word of God tells us that. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials that come to try you. That's what 1 Peter 4th chapter 12th verse says. So listen, um, in the last several years, we've been inundated with story after story concerning people of color that have been harmed or even killed by law enforcement. And that has stimulated much conversation. Most recently, our daughter brought to our attention a message that she posted on Instagram. And we haven't read that message, but we understand that her basic premise was that all lives matter. And there was much backlash because the response was that black lives matter. Hey, listen, all lives do matter. Be clear about that. The word of God tells us, however, that we are one body, many members, but one body. God has created all of us in his image. But listen, when one member of the body suffers, the entire body suffers. So in this case, people of color being one of those members, we're suffering. In fact, 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the 25th verse says this, that there should be no schism in the body but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffers, all members suffer. Or one member is honored, all members rejoice with it. So today, one member of this great body is suffering. That's people of color. And we have to be concerned about that. We have to care for that member that feels that they are under attack, whether that's through racial profiling, whether that's unjustified um, correction, whatever the case may be. So we as one body should be concerned about that particular member. So what can we do? Uh, A few things. Number one, commit it to prayer. Prayer changes things. Please be clear about that. Ask God to help us to regulate our minds and our hearts that we would understand that we are one and that we were all created in his image number two if you're not registered to vote register now if you are registered to vote congratulations but make sure that everyone within your community is also registered our vote matters thirdly make sure that your words and your actions speak life and not death that they edify and not destroy. Fourthly, be concerned about every member of this great body. Remember, if one suffers, we all suffer. So help those members that are suffering. Listen with a careful ear, with a compassionate heart. Be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem, right? We all have a word. We all mean something. We all have a role to play. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining Bev's Lifeline. If you are appreciative of this message, then I hope that you will choose to like it. And because this is mission, I hope that you will choose to share it. That's it for now. Know that I love you, infinity. Bye-bye.